Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I Kishwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 175 in the series of basic math, and today we'll do our fourth lesson on the topic of unit digit. The fourth one in the series of seven. Problem as you can see is already on the blackboard. Let's go take a look at it. It says What's the unit digit? What's the unit digit of 12 raised to 4 times 19 squared times 33 cubed? And here are the five answer choices: 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm going to give you now, as usual, five seconds for you to be able to pause and unpause the video. Do it yourself first. Once you have the answer, then we'll do it together and we'll compare the work, your work, against the work that you and I will do together in a few seconds' time. Okay? Here we go. I'll give you five seconds, as I said. For you to be able to pause and then post the video. All right. Let's see what we have. It's very important that you watch these videos in the series. This is the fourth one in the series, which means if you had watched day number 174, 173, 174, 173 and 172. If you have watched those days, it will make it easier for you to understand what we are about to do together here. It's always a good idea. These are the five answer choices. It's always a good idea to watch these videos in the proper sequence, like I said, because it makes it easier for you to follow the work. Also because I take it for granted that what I, what the topics that we, that we have already covered you understand it, understand those topics, so I don't want to keep repeating everything since. Anyway, here we go. 12 raised to 4. 12 raised to 4 is simply 12 times 12 times 12 times 12. Now, only thing, only thing that we're interested in is, we're not interested in the product of 12 times 12 times 12 times 12. We're not interested in that. Only thing that we're interested in is exactly what it says here. The unit digit. The product of these four quantities and then what unit digit? That's all we care about. For example, 12 times 12, 12 times 12, whatever it is, the unit digit has to be 4 because 2 times 2 is 4. And therefore, 12 times 12 times 12 would be simply the, the product of these four. Will, let's, let's, do it in, let's do it step by step. So 12 times 12 is going to end in a 4. You multiply by 12 one more time. This is, this is going to be the 12 cubed. And 12, this is the 12 squared. 12 squared will end in a 4, which of course, which of course we know it ends in a 4 because 12 squared is 144, but, we'll, but we don't need to know that it is 144. We can tell from here it has to end in a 4 because 2 times 2, unit digit is 4. You multiply 12 squared by 12 again, you get 12 cubed, and that 12 cubed, whatever it is, has to end in an 8. And then you one more time, if you multiply it by 12, that is going to give us 12 to the 4th, that is going to give us 12 to the 4th, and that of course has to end in a 8 times 2, 8 times 2 is 6. It's going to end in a 6. We don't know what it is. We don't know what it is, nor are we interested in finding out what 12 to the 4 is. We have no interest in it. Only thing that we have to understand is that whatever it is, has to end in a 6, because the unit, unit digit is going to be the product of 8 and 2. 8, 8 2 is a 16. It is, it's going to end in a 6. Let's look at this part here. 19 times 19 19 times 19, well 19 times 19, whatever it happens to be, the unit digit has to be 9 times 9. 9 nines are 81. It will, end in a, it, it will end in a 1. Now let's take a look at this part. 33 times 33, whatever it is, has to end in a 3 times 3, it's going to end in a 9. 33 squared, 33 squared will end in a 9. If you multiply it by 33 one more time, if you multiply that thing by one more time, if you multiply it by one more time, we get 33 cubed, and 33 cubed, whatever it is, has to end in a 9 times 3. 9 is 3 is 27. It has to end in a 7. It has to end in a 7. That's it, we're done. The question is, what's the, what's the unit digit of the product of these four quantities? We know 12 raised to 4, we know 12 raised to 4 ends in a 6. We know 12, 19 squared, we know, ends in a 1. We know now that 33 cubed ends in a 7. So now let's find the product of these three numbers. So the unit digit 
of the product of these three quantities has to be the product of the unit digit of the results. 6 times 1 times 7 is 42, is 42, and therefore the unit digit of the product of all of these three numbers is going to be 2. The answer is B. That's all. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.